Hello my loves, welcome back for another episode of Ash Adventures. Oh my gosh, today I'm going to share with you how I painted my very own calipers on my car. And I know it sounds very intense, but I can promise you if I could do it, anybody could do it. You just need like a couple things which I'll totally share with you and focus gotta focus and have a steady hand and you can totally 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 do this cost under $50 and even less than that really but I'm adding in money for the car wash because you'll want to start with a clean you know clean slate um, and then this duplicate color I chose the engine one because where I went at the car shop they didn't have um they didn't have like a glossy caliper paint but there is caliper paint, so you can just pick caliper paint. And the reason why you want to choose specifically either caliper paint or engine paint is because you want to make sure that it will withstand heat. And this one withstands heat up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty hot. So you definitely want to make sure that you have the right paint. And then this is also not the easiest way to do this. The easiest way to do this is to... A, have someone do it for you, like a professional, but then you're going to pay for it. When I went to get an estimate, it was about $1,500, I think. And I said, I feel like I could do this myself. Um, or you can also take off the wheels. I didn't know how to do that, though. I don't know anybody who does. So this is why I decided to do it myself and it feels amazing like it feels so good knowing that you did something yourself something that you care so deeply about mm, there's just like uh, no other feeling that I can ever describe um, so what you'll need besides the paint is a little plastic thing and then some paintbrushes this is like about the size that you want to use right there Yep, and that's really it, honestly. Welcome to my creepy garage. Okay, so this is actually the third time that I am just like going through this because as you can see, at this point, I've mostly painted all of them. They look amazing but sometimes this like little bar on the rim will actually get in front of an unpainted part so I wanted to do a little touch up so I'm gonna have to like you know just drive my car up a little bit so that I can reach the part that is unpainted but if they were like totally clean um totally unpainted the process would still be the same so since this is my third time just doing like little touch-ups to make sure that i reach every single little spot um you can see right here i finally i don't know it might be a little dark you can see i finally made the the rims go to the correct spot so two things number one make sure your car is washed you don't want any dust any dirt any like gunk you don't want to be painting over that so make sure it's washed you have your tires cleaned make sure they do a very thorough job before you start doing this you always want to start with a clean slate no matter what so that means each and every time I do the little touch-ups get your car washed and then you do it that day or the next day you know without moving your car and then also you want to make sure that you're like not wearing um, you know your favorite outfit that you'd be pissed if you got paint all over so what i'm going to do is you take this spray paint very 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 simple shake it up shake it up shake it up shake it up i'm going to make sure it's nice and you shut and then you just take off the cap oops and then you just take off the cap and you're going to want to see where the nozzle is spray it in the little plastic tub And just spray for about like five ten seconds you're gonna have a lot of like paint and then you just take your paintbrush and whoop, pick up some paint and go ahead and paint it 
if your paintbrush is hard, you might want to like smash it into, yeah, smash it into the side to kind of like loosen it up a little bit. And you want to make sure that you're not grabbing too much paint. So it's going to, you don't want it to drip as you're carrying the brush over onto your brand new powder coated rims. Like that's not the prerogative right now. So just make sure you pick up the perfect amount of paint and then go ahead and use like the flashlight on my phone so that I can see everything extremely clear.